Welcome back Wastelanders. So today we have a fun video in store for you. Did you know in Fallout 76 you could become mutated and that could help you get more XP, jump higher, or run faster? If you didn't, stick around and find out how to get mutations. So if you're not mutated, when you jump it's going to look a lot like this. With mutations on, you'll jump like this. So this in itself can make the game a lot better to play and a lot less of a struggle for you. There's 19 mutations that you can that are available. You can only have 18 of them. So this is the one where you can only have one or the other. You can either have carnivore or herbivore. You cannot have both. So first of all, your mutations will be found under your pit boy under stat. Okay, so you go from status to effects. And then you'll just scroll down until you see this wonderful DNA looking strand. And these are the actual mutations that you have equipped. So you can see I have a bunch of them. I don't have all of them, but I do have a bunch. There's 19 available, but you can only have a total of 18 mutations. So the exception to this is that you can either have carnivore mutation or you can have herbivore mutation, but you cannot have both. One cancels out the other. For that matter, you don't have to have but one mutation or you can have them all. So it is completely up to you and how you want to play. So mutations are good and bad. So they give you positive effects, but they also give you negative effects. So you will have to play and weigh out which ones you want to do. Let's go ahead and we'll go over all 19 mutations that are available and I'll kind of read off what it, you get and what your deficit will be, you know, your negative effect will be with each of these mutations. So you have adrenal reaction. So at the bottom on the screen you'll see here it says you do more damage the lower your health is, your max health is reduced. Then you have bird bones, boosts sneaking and increases AP, reduces strength and increases risk, risk of limb damage. Carnivore, the benefits of eating meat are doubled and your chance of contracting diseases from meat is reduced. You get no benefit from eating vegetables, just like I just said. Chameleon, you are invisible if unarmored and standing still. Eagle eyes, your perception of vats, critical damage are increased, but your strength is reduced. Egghead, this is your intelligence boost, so it's going to increase your intelligence. You get strength and endurance are reduced, though. Electrically charged, so taking melee damage may trigger a shock effect. Then you have empath, you take increased damage, but your teammates take decreased damage. Grounded serum, your energy resistance increases, damage output from your energy weapon is reduced. Healing, your health will regenerate if you are not starving. The effectiveness of stem packs and chems are reduced. Herbivore, you get twice the benefit from eating vegetables and your chance of contracting diseases from vegetable, vegetables is reduced. You get no benefits from eating meat. Herd mentality. When your teammates are nearby, all specials increase. When your teammates are not nearby, all specials are reduced. Marsupial. Your carry capacity and jump height are increased. Your intelligence is reduced. Plague Walker. You have a poison aura which grows stronger with each disease you contract. Scaly Skin. Your damage and ener energy resistance are increased. Your AP is reduced. Speed Demon. Your movement speed and reload speed are increased. You require more food and water to stay alive. Makes sense. Run faster. Burn more calories. So therefore, you're going to need more food. Talons. Your unarmed, your unarmed damage and bleed effects are increased. Your ag agility is reduced. Twisted muscles. Your melee damage and chance to cripple are increased. The accuracy of your guns is reduced. Unstoppable isotope. When you take melee damage, a ra radiation effect may be created. This damages you and your foes. So those are all 19. Now that you know that 19 mutations exist, you just need to become mutated, right? Well, unfortunately, it's not that cut and dry. This video is going to seem like I'm all over the place. I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible, but you just need to watch it all the way through the end so that way you can get a better grasp and understanding of how to keep these mutations, how to get them, and all the fun stuff that goes along with it. So I'm going to start off by just telling you the two ways that you can become mutated and then I will come back to those and explain that further in a little bit. So the first way is to actually uh, get aid and you can actually buy the the mutation that you want and then you just would drink this and you'll become mutated. The second way is to become irradiated. Okay, You become irradiated to the point that you actually gain a mutation. It's one mutation each time and it's random. Okay, So 
radiation is the red that's down there on your health bar on bottom left and you gotta have a whole bunch of it to get one mutation so the first thing that you're going to want to do is is if you do that is you're going to want to go in here to your aid and you're going to take a rat away so that way you can get rid of all that irradiation because once you have that red you can't get any further health like it literally makes it so every single time you use a stem pack it doesn't cure it and it's just a huge you know it's detrimental to your health bar basically but if you don't have the proper perk cards in place then you will lose that mutation that you just got so anytime you use right away right away dilute it or one of these wonderful decon showers you walk through you have a chance to lose one mutation if you die and you don't have but just a little bit like you lose a little bit of that radiation when you come back and it's very rare but some people have reported that when they came back it took away just enough radiation that they lost their mutation as well but if you want to keep those then this is what you're going to have to do because you can only do one at a time basically if you do it this way if you use the right away to get rid of the radiation so you have a bigger health bar then you could lose that mutation and that is not good because you've spent all this time trying to get the mutation it's random and you might have got the one that you wanted right off the bat and you're super excited and then all of a sudden you come in here and you take a rat away or a rat away dilute it or you walk through one of these things and you don't even realize what it is and then that mutation is gone and then you'd have to try again and it's so devastating sometimes to you've gone through all this stuff and then lose it if you have nuka grape though you can actually take this to get rid of your radiation so you lose 400 radiation but guess what it will not take away one of your mutations so then you could go back and get another mutation and become irradiated again and you know you just rinse and repeat until you get what you want or you get all the ones that you want basically so you just keep on going and keep on going and you can use the nuka grape to get rid of that so there's that um, you can also use Brahmin milk um, there's Brahmins right at uh, the wayward they're right outside you can go and milk those there's also Brahmin down here at the Big Ben Tunnel West and the where are you there it is Big Ben Tunnel East those also have three or two Brahmin outside as well and you can also put them in your camp so you could use Brahmin milk to also manage that radiation they will not get rid of your mutation so you could do that and possibly gain all the ones that you want and be able to uh, keep them without losing them but the thing is, is you really have to be careful of your rat away and the decon showers and it just becomes so much to bear but if you don't have any other way you gotta do what you gotta do right so the next thing that you need to know is is if you have mutations already since we're doing aid and everything and you take rad X you will get rid of all the effects of your mutations so you know how I could jump higher just a second ago well I'll take a rad X and now I can only jump that high I'm not jumping nearly as high as I was as you can see it's super low but if you do this by mistake you can take a rad X dilute it and that will get rid of that mutation so there you go look at that you can jump again so if you do that the best way to fix it is with a rad X dilute it so I usually just get rid of all the rad X or, or change them over to rad X dilute it so that way I'm not even tempted or accidentally hit it and mess up everything okay so that's one way to fix that the other way would just be to take another serum if you have it and that would also fix it okay so the special so you gotta have certain cards in place to keep these things if you can't manage it with the nuka, the nuka grape and the brahmin milk and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and get into that with your special you'll want to have some points in charisma in my opinion and you'll need to have a bunch of points in luck also in my opinion but the most important one to get is starch genes starch genes is available to you starting at level 30 okay you can get this and you can equip it and I just unequipped it again because that's what I like to do every single time I'm doing this I've taken I've done so many and I do that too every time no. anyway you get starch genes and you get it at level 30 okay the first star that you get because it's a two star card which means it can be ranked up to two which mine is the first star gives you less chance for you to mutate from rads or from rad away to cure mutations so if you take it there's a less there's a lower probability that you'll lose a mutation but it's still there 
But if you level this card up, you will never mutate from rads, and rad away will never cure mutations. Voila! So if you have this equipped, you don't have to worry about using the Nuka Grape. You can take your rat away. You can go through decon showers, and you keep your mutations just like I've been doing. Um, while we're doing our cards, the next one that you'd want to get, in my opinion, is Class Freak. And Class Freak goes up to three stars. This one, um, it gives you negative, the negative effects of your mutations are reduced by 25%, and if you rank it all the way up to three stars, then you get up to 75% reduction in those wonderful negative effects. So what that means is, is if you lose, like, marsupial, your intelligence takes a hit. So if you don't want your intelligence to be as negatively affected, then you'll want these cards, so that way you, the negative effects are next to nothing, basically. If you don't feel like doing that, and you need to get rid of the negative effects, all you have to do is take another um, serum. So, like, if it's marsupial, and you want to get rid of that effect, you take the marsupial serum, and for one hour, all the negative effects are gone. Okay, so that's after you become mutated, you would take a second one, basically. The next card that you want to get is under Charisma. So you want Strange in Numbers. This one's only a one, you only have to have one point for this. I think it's a great way to start the game. Positive mutation effects are 25% stronger in teammates if teammates are mutated too. So if you have people in your team that's over level 50, the probability that they're mutated is super high. There's not very many people that play without mutations. So if you do that, you get more carry weight and all sorts of stuff if you have like the marsupial, but that's just an example. You'd get, you know, increased carry weight for every team member that's mutated. So the positive effects are 25% stronger. It's a win-win. You get more XP if you're on a team. Now that you know that those things can actually affect your mutations and you know how to keep the mutations, let's go over how you actually get the mutation. As you know, you can take serums. So how do you get serums, okay? If you are not a higher level, then you're going to have to either get them from somebody that's, you know, willing to give you the serum because they have to make it, or you will have to buy the serum from a vending machine. You'll look, want to look in it, it means vendor, and then you'll want to look for somebody that has pill and it says meds. He has 116 meds available, so the chances that he'll have serum is probably high. You don't really want to pay over 500 caps for the serum that you want. To make the mutations is not easy either, so you have to get the recipe. Well, how do you get the recipe? You have have to complete the quest Bunker Buster and you have to join the Enclave. So once you've done that, you will actually go over here to the White Springs and go to the White Spring Bunker and you'll go into the Science Wing in there in the Enclave and you'll buy the recipe for I think it's 17,000 caps um, from the Modus. So Modus will sell it to you and then you learn the recipe and then you can come over to your chemistry station and you can make the recipe. Then it's under Mutation Serum. So like for Adrenal, you got to have pure Cobalt Flux. Every single one of these takes some type of flux. Um, this is very difficult to get. If you guys need a video on how to get it and how to make flux, that is a whole nother video and a whole nother process. If enough people request it, I will do it. Now, if you want to go the irradiated route. So this way, if you can use a radioactive barrel. You can use an asteroid. But the thing is, is it does not give you very much radiation. That's me holding A down. That's all it gives me. I'm going to just keep on holding A here. Just like this, and it stops. See, I have to do it again, and it stops. You have to get a lot of radiation in order to gain a mutation. And when you gain it, you don't know which mutation you're going to get. It's random. The best way to get irradiated and get the mutations, if you're going to go that route instead of buying them, here at Emmett Mountain Disposal. So that is not too far from White Springs. Uh, train station so it's a short walk if you want to walk there this is also where radiation rumble happens so you can you can become irradiated down there super quick I, okay so the first thing you'll want to do is is you'll want to come in here so this is it it's over here next to white springs you could stand there but you're not going to get very much irradiation what you want to do is, is you'll actually want to come past all these guys and go right in here. All right, so once you're inside of the M Mountain Disposal site, you'll just want to run straight down here. And you'll see these four barrels right here ahead of you. You just will want to jump on top of the four barrels. And you'll start to notice you're getting lots of radiation. See, plus 17 is just kind of going up. So what you'll want to be looking for is that little man little vault boy to trigger with the extra arm and it'll say you've you know received a mutation you want to get off at that point you can check under stats under your effects at the DNA place and see which mutation you've actually gotten and if it's one that you want 
you'll want to make sure that your starch jeans is on and then you'll come over here to this thing activate the button run through sometimes you have to run back through and that will get rid of your radiation then you'll just need to use a stem pack get your health back up and then you just keep on washing and rinsing and repeating so as a side note to whether or not you want to get rid of like you take off your starch jeans and you want to go through these the decon shower and remove that one mutation you gotta remember when you go through that it takes off a random mutation so if you have more than one you could lose a different mutation not to mention the fact that you see how big this thing is you're going through more than one of these so the chances of you losing more than one mutation is very very high my husband did it this way and he was not very happy when he took off about three he said going through there one time so once you get the one that you're looking for I would suggest any other ones that you get after that part just keep the extra ones that you don't want alright guys I do believe that's all for this video so if you have any questions if I've missed something just let me know I hope I didn't miss anything since I had to go back and forth so much but I really do appreciate you guys for watching make sure to give me a thumbs up and take care